During the age of dinosaurs, the seas were filled with all kinds of giant animals, giant marine reptiles, many with huge teeth, fierce predators probably. But there's a striking absence in these ancient oceans, large-bodied animals that ate plankton, the, the equivalent of today's whales and giant sharks that filter feed. And this has been a real problem for us, understanding the reason behind this gap in the record. The first clues that giant fishes were filling this filter feeding role in ancient oceans came from fossils actually found in the UK, from the mid-Jurassic, the middle of the age of dinosaurs. But many of these fossils have been left in museum collections, have either been ignored or misidentified in part because they're very difficult fossils to work with. These animals are large, they've lost a lot of bone, when they die they fall apart into many pieces which are easily fragmented, which made it very difficult to recognize their remains in the fossil record. So once we realized that these giant fishes live for much longer than we'd previously thought, I went back to museum collections and started looking for other examples that might fill in gaps in the record. And actually in the course of an afternoon in London at the Natural History Museum, I found these three examples that have been either ignored or misidentified. And these show the key features that allowed us to place them in this group of giant suspension feeding fishes. So these are all incomplete skulls as you can see. Here's a very fragmentary one from Dorset. And here is a bit of the jaw. This is a fragment of the lower jaw, and as you can see, other relatives of this group of fishes would have big teeth here, they're predators, but this has no teeth whatsoever. And you can compare this to a similar specimen from Japan, from much later in the age of dinosaurs, and here you have the jaws, long, slender, no teeth, obviously something that's probably suspension feeding plankton for food. Now, it might be quite difficult to actually get a real feel for the size of these giant fishes. Well, right here I've got a close relative of these plankton eaters. Now, this is the size of the body here, and this is the size of one of the front fins. Now, to put the size of these giant suspension feeders in context, I've made a printout of some of the giant fins of these animals we found in Kansas. Now, this pair of fins would have probably belonged to an animal about five meters long. We know examples from this group got even bigger than this. They were truly giants in the seas in the age of dinosaurs. One of the interesting things about the fossil record of this group is that they make their last appearance right about the same time in the fossil record that dinosaurs make their last appearance. They probably went extinct around the same time. Another interesting aspect is all those groups of giant plankton eaters we're familiar with today, things like giant sharks, like the whale shark, like basking sharks, and the baleen whales, things like the blue whale and the gray whale, they only appear after that extinction event, suggesting that they evolved to fill this empty ecological job that was once occupied by these giant fishes.